While our commentary is generally considered family-friendly, this game is rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Stephen Amell play Telltale Games The Walking Dead. On the last episode, Mal got us started off on Chapter 5 of Season 2, which is the last chapter of Season 2. We got to see what happened from the Mexican standoff situation that I put ourselves in, and honestly, I was very surprised. Were you surprised? Yeah. Everyone in our group lived. Everyone. I mean, it's kept Rebecca, but I shot her. But, like, everyone else lived. And that was surprising. Um, we have one member of the, the Russian group, Arvo. I don't know how to feel about him yet. I really don't. Um, my, my gut tells me not to trust him. Um, because I, I, I don't know if we can trust the guy. But also, I also... I feel bad because we wronged him. We robbed him. And that's why all of this problem began in the first place. And now we he is our hostage and he's taking us back to this, you know, supposed house that exists that has food. And uh, we've been walking for a long time. We had to stop for the night. Now everyone's just kind of chilling by the campfire. And uh, when we when we last left off, Mao uh, was, was on her way to give Jane and Kenny some of the... The wine. Uh, the wine that Bonnie had been saving for a special occasion. So I am in control today, and I am going to go give them some wine. Let's see. Here's our fire. It's so much nicer by the fire. <laughs> what? That was weird. At least we don't need to worry about being electrocuted. Or do we? Dun dun dun, no we don't. Transformer. I miss TV. Feels like forever since we had electricity. See, Kenny's over there. You can talk to Arvo. Oh, you can. I want to do just that. Just walk that way. Camera will just... switch. <laughs> oh, probably. Yeah, I do want to talk to Arvo. More than anyone else. So, how far is the house? We walked all day, so I assume we're pretty close. Leave me alone, please. Alright. I had the option to show, like, some level of sympathy or empathy, and I was just like, so, uh, <laughs> about the house. Where's the house? I, I feel bad. I can't even bring myself to bring it up. Oh, it's rum. They expect you to lure me over there with alcohol? I wouldn't have expected a bottle to last this long. Maybe I just wanted to talk. All right. I'll pretend I believe you. <laughs> I don't know. It, it might be awkward. I wasn't expecting to... You know... Be around. Why? Because you made it with Luke? What does that even mean? What's the it? You know. Yeah. Because I made it with Luke. It's not a big deal. Why does this feel like I'm signing a contract or something? That's really good. Have you had any? You want to say? <laughs> it's okay. Mm, I've been turning down. Burn a little. Been turning the down alcohol the entire time. No, thanks. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> you can be the designated driver then. Cool, but I don't know how to drive though. It's easier now. There aren't any cops. I wasn't too much older than you when I had my first drink. God, I was so stupid back then. There was this time I broke into my parents' liquor cabinet and drank a whole bottle of this really spicy, sweet liquor. Oh, what was its name? I was dumb. Earthquake or something. Sounds like you were a bad kid. I guess I was. At the bottom of the bottle, there were these sugar crystals, and I got it in my head that I really wanted to eat a couple. 
So I got the bright idea to smash it on my parents' dining room floor to get at them. And it shattered into a thousand pieces all over the dining room. And I proceeded to eat what I thought was sugar candy. Wow, that's really stupid. Yeah, Clem, I was drunk. The problem with glasses, it looks a lot like sugar crystals. That's never really been a problem for me. <laughs> Keep it that way. My sister found me, drunk, blood pouring out of my mouth. Jamie thought I was dying, so she called 911. They pumped my stomach. Got grounded for six months. You ate glass? I ate glass. I haven't thought about that in a long time. I guess a deal's a deal. Here. That guy needs a drink more than any of us. Time to not make it weird. Hooray! I'm sure it'll be fine. Wanna sit here? No, that's... Uh, I'm fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Wherever you like. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Arvo's still out there, but we already know uh, he's not in the mood to talk. I can't imagine why. Let's talk to Kenny. There, there, little guy. Shh. Shh, I got you. I got you. Hey. Oh, hey, Clem. Just, uh, needed some air. Kenny, there's air everywhere. I'm sorry for, for how I acted back there. After Sarita was... I just... I, I couldn't handle it. I'm sorry. I mean, you did what you could. Thank you. You mm -hmm. tried to help, and I blamed you for it. You don't have anything to apologize for. I know you didn't mean it. Thanks. I miss my boy. I miss him so much. I didn't raise him like I should have. Made mistakes. Wasn't there a whole lot for a couple years. Off on a boat somewhere or other. I thought I enjoyed that time away from him. From my family. But I'd give anything for one more second with them. To play catch with Doug. To touch Katja's face. Anything in the world. I really liked Katja. She was one of the nicest people I've ever met. She had a big heart. To get it broken like that was too much for her. It should have been too much for me. gonna be different with him. He's gonna get raised right. I won't make the same mistakes again. That's a promise. You should get back over by the fire. Ain't no sense in both of us being over here. I can handle watch on my own. You should come too. I don't know. Come on. It'll be good for everyone. Yeah, okay. Everyone's a part of the group. And then we were all promptly eaten. So what's up with the fence? Seems secure enough. For one night anyways. I f honestly, I feel fine. Like, there's a little hole. But I actually, for the most part, I, I feel fine about everything. What about you? I feel pretty good, maybe. I'm not real worried. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Jane, you don't have to justify that with a response. Hey, I find it's best to just get this stuff out in the open. Less drama. Well, that's fine. But I can confirm there was no time for kissing. <laughs> shh, shh. All right, enough of that. Hey, you, Clem. 
It's nice to hear people laughing. Yeah, it is. You just spend so much time trying to stay alive that you don't get a chance to enjoy living. Yeah. We need to make more time for that. Alcohol helps. <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Let me get that bottle. We got someone else that might need some help. Sounds like a waste of good rum. He lost his sister today. And whose fault was that? That makes it even harder to deal with. Trust me. Kenny, please, don't let it ruin a nice night. I said my piece. I don't think that boy's a bad person. I just think good people do bad things sometimes. And they do it a lot more nowadays with the world being what it is. So I think it's best Leave to... Leave me alone! Sorry, okay? My fault. I shouldn't have... Leave me alone! It's okay. It's okay. She's in a better place. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Maybe it's best if we all get some rest. Who knows how long a walk we got tomorrow. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'll take first watch. Thank you, Kenny. Really. I, uh... Don't mention it. You did good. It was nice while it lasted. It's amazing how bad I continue to feel about stealing that kid's stuff. Like, I have so much guilt over that. It is ridiculous. Because, like, his life is, like, all destroyed and ruined. God. Man, we should not have taken that stuff. You sure you're good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. If I, if I start to crap out, I'll let you know. Okay, will you do that? It's no trouble. How much further? Close. Very close. You've been saying that every time I ask. Please. Come. Oh. I'm really starting to think <gasps> you're full of shit. Kenny, look out! What the fuck? Ah, ah, ah! Jesus Christ! That was close. Fucker came out of nowhere! That was real loud. Hopefully there aren't more of them. Yeah, well, let's move. We don't want to be around to find out. It's very close. Come. Hmm. I mean, this kid is never gonna trust us. Mm-hmm. Ever, you know? There. That piece of shit? It's half built! We're here for the supplies, not the house. It's warm. Fireplace. Very warm. As long as there's food, who cares what it looks like? You're not gonna think that when you wake up with a couple inches of snow covering you. Are we just gonna walk over? Oh, man. Maybe there's a way around. I don't see any. Say it in it. an American asshole. It's okay. Walk. Ice. No shit ice. That's the problem. He's saying it's fine. I go first. I can be front. Maybe we shouldn't come together. We just can't have too much weight. She's right. We need to spread out. Just to be safe. Less weight, the better. This is my nightmare. First, mm -hmm. Since he's so confident. It's okay. Like, this is my night. I would never do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. And even when it's very thick, it does creak. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, this, this, no. This is my personal hell right now. <laughs> 
Oh, God. I have so much anxiety about this. Someone's going to fall through. You know it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's Is the it going to be Clem or someone else? It's going to be someone. And I'm real freaked out about it. Oh, man. And... We're okay. Don't worry. Oh, is it going to be Luke with his oh, leg? Oh, God, man. Oh, this is the, this is the worst. I was going to say, those walkers now. We got some walkers behind us. And it's only a few of them. We should be all right. Let's just get to the house. Hey, stay with us. Fuck. That's not good. No. That's too less to deal with. We'll just stay spread out and we'll be fine. Hey! Motherfucker! Shit! He's gonna kill him! <gasps> Kenny! Get back here, you piece of shit! I should let you drown, you piece of shit! No! Kenny! Don't hurt him! Careful, Mike. We're not all over yet. Well, they made it. Yeah, they did. Oh. This is bad. Don't come over here. Hey, I can make it. It's it's fine. Oh god. You sure? Yeah. You got walkers on the way. Let me help it's too you. Too thin for both of us. I just I just got to be careful. No, no. Stop. Stop. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. Gotta get out of there, Luke! Yeah, Clem! I'm working on it! <laughs> you need to help! No! Clem, You're gonna go! Fall through. Go help no, him! Clem, Clem, do not! Just go back for him! You're light! You, Stop you telling her that! Clem! Look at me! Pull out your gun and shoot those damn walkers, okay? Just give me a little time! Clem, you can make it, but you need to go! Thanks! Thanks! I'll be on a sec, just, just keep shooting! I trust Luke's decision. You're not gonna make it! Uh, my, my, my leg! I just, I just Hold need on, a, I got it. Rest a second. Uh, keep him off us, Clem! No, no, it's too much. Too Shut much up! Pace. Shut the fuck up! Go back. I gotcha. Bonnie, you idiot. You're gonna kill him. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And there's no way to go save them. Oh my god. It's too late. Clementine, stop! Nothing more you can do. This is the saddest thing. Oh my god, why did I do that? Oh my god. I mean, I... I got you. No. I got you. Come on, come on. Come on. gonna be okay. Bonnie. Let's go to the house. We need a fire. Oh, fuck. She's gonna fucking freeze to death. <sighs> I mean, that was How dumb the fuck of me. Did that but I, I just. There's a fireplace. I felt like I had to try. We have to get the morgue. They're gonna freeze to death. Doggone it, Bonnie. This is gone. Luke's fucking gone. We should have gone around. God damn it. We should have just fucking gone around. God damn it. The ice. It was too thin. I just... Once that ice started to go, there wasn't nothing any of us could do. You could have... You could have Oh, Bonnie, him. shut up. Don't listen to her, Clem. This ain't on you. You son of a bitch! This is your fucking fault! Kenny! Don't, man! Don't what? I'm freezing. Can we just get a fire started? Look at this place. Just a stack of fucking toothpicks. Bet those magical supplies are bullshit too. 
What? No speaking of English? Fuck you. You fucking commie piece of shit! Yeah, Teddy! Fuck you! Ah! Ah! You mother! Jenny! Stop it! Just stop! I feel bad for Arvo. Like, I, don't, I don't know what his intentions were, but at this point, what I just I feel bad for him. There's another just like it. He wasn't lying. You want to tell me how a can of fucking chili is gonna help? How is baby? beating a kid to death gonna help anyone? This is your fault, and you damn well know it. It's not Kenny's fault. I'm tying him up. Fine. Mike, help me get a fire started. You okay? These hurt real bad. Mike! Yeah. Yeah, okay. God, I, I'm so confused about what to think. Like, I still don't fully trust Arvo, but now I'm starting to feel really You're bad lying. for him. I thought I had matches. Nail file. That's right. You kept it. God, what would I have done if I... Oh, and well then she would have had it. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Mallory, how do you feel about Arvo? He keeps giving us, like, angry looks. Yeah. I, but, but who wouldn't be pissed? Yeah. You know? I'm really waffling on, on how I feel about him. I still can't figure out why he was putting the supplies in the trash can. It, that doesn't make sense. That's that's what keeps him suspicious. What was he doing that for? Yeah. I mean, maybe he just he found it and he was storing it for later so Let they could come back and get it. it. Jesus. I don't know. He could have killed you. The fuck is wrong with him? You're up. Kenny's out back trying to get some stupid truck started. Here, you should eat something. You okay? Thank you. Hmm. I can't believe he's gone. I've lost people before, but it just hasn't felt this, this shitty in a while. He cared about you too, Jane. I know he did. God damn it. And maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have come back. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm gonna find something to clean that up. I can't take this shit anymore. Feeling better? Yeah. Hell of a day. But we gotta get moving. If you're feeling up to it, I could use a hand out back with this truck. This house ain't worth a crap, but the vehicles ain't in bad shape. With a little luck, we can get one fixed up. Be out of here by nightfall. Yeah, sure, Kenny. That's the spirit, darling. I'll wait for you out back. I'll watch him. Oh, man. Where's Bonnie? She wandering around. She, she, you can't, you can't blame Kenny for this. This isn't Kenny's fault. Ken, I mean, Kenny's been rough with the kid, but... Just be careful. That was weird. Gator trash cans. Gator tough. Gator tough. Now what?
what did she have to say? I know she was running her mouth. What did she say? Well, we didn't talk about you. Really? Really, Kenny. It's true, Kenny. <sighs> what happened? It's over. But AJ needs us now. We gotta stick together on this thing, alright? Come on. Let's see if the truck's gonna go. Uh, here goes something. My daddy always had a half dozen wrecks he was fixing up. He was a mean some bitch, but he taught me respect. Girl like Jane could learn a thing or two about that. I like her. Just give her some time. Maybe you're right. Hell, I didn't know what to make of Lee at first. Of course, he helped me in mine more times than I can remember. Jane helped us back on the road. It's true. All right, give it a turn. Here goes something. We're so close, Clem. With a little bit of luck, I can get this thing running. And then we can get out on the road and really make some distance. Wellington's got to be out there. Well, those rumors can't all be bunk. <laughs> what about Mexico? Why? You want a taco? I've never been there. I went once, long time ago, just before I met Ken. All right, turn it again. There goes something. Did you turn it? Yes. God damn it! <sighs> we'll get it working. We gotta get moving if we're gonna keep AJ alive. We're running out of time. I gotta get this thing to start. Gonna try warming up the battery. Go on inside. I don't like leaving him with that girl. It's a weird position to be in, because I, I trust both of them. And I like both of them. I like Jane and Kenny. Mm -hmm. It's just really... I don't know, it just feels really weird to be in this particular situation. Because they don't really like each other. Need any help? I'm fine. Go check on AJ. And like... Jane is all about survival. Mm-hmm. Although she's she's definitely had some moments where she's been more interested in helping the group, which is nice. And like Kenny, Kenny's priority has always been even in season one, kids. Yeah, take care of the kids. You know, you you uh, there's a, a early scene in uh, season one, episode two, where you have to, you have very limited food and you have to decide who to feed. Yeah, and we fed the kids, and he came up and was like, you know, that meant a lot, Lee. You know, you fed the kids first, and that was cool. Everyone's got different priorities. Wish they'd finished this place. Jeez. All right. This is actually a good uh, good place to stop. So I'm gonna, I knew it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to end it here. But this is just giving you a little look at what's around. There's a house. Did you know that? It looks like it's about to collapse. It can't be easy to try and build a house in the winter. I mean... I think it was being built when the apocalypse happened. Oh, I know. I know. Looks broken. I guess at this point, where would you get the lumber to finish? Yeah. Seems difficult. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Um, next episode, Mal takes over. Yeah. This... Man. Man. What's gonna happen? This whole thing... Is, I don't want to say, this thing's a mess. Because it's not a mess. It's not a mess, but like, like I said, I've, I've had guilt the entire time because of this guy, and I, I really wish that we wouldn't have robbed him. I mean, you made that decision. Yeah. So I, I wish you wouldn't have robbed him, but I gotta, if I'm, if I'm honest, I think that maybe even in, in the heat of the moment, I would have chosen that also. So I'm just kind of lumping us both together there. <laughs> if I, seriously, if we didn't rob him, I don't think I would have this guilt. 
But then maybe I still would feel bad because if if they had shown up on the road and held us at gunpoint, you know, is the kid telling the truth? Was Natasha his sister? Um, is there something else going on? Is he trustworthy? Or does it even matter at this point because we've ruined his life? I'm sure he hates us. I have no idea. But it's not my problem because Mal takes over <laughs> next episode and she has to deal with everything. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen and Mal play Telltale Games, The Walking Dead.